Wow. Um, I normally speak more off the cuff, but uh, you're following the governor and the president and doctors, and, and you're just a basketball coach. I decided to put a little more into it. So I'd like to start by offering my condolences on behalf of my family, Lupe and Stephen Raquel. And Stephen was at one of the buildings two nights ago, about 10 minutes after things happened. So sometimes we don't understand because we haven't been through it. That little moment brought me a little closer to understanding. But as well as our entire university community who was impacted by the horrific actions Monday night, I'm representing our athletic department and I feel like Michigan State, my 40th year here. I don't like the place. I don't love the place. I live the place. To the families of those who were senselessly taken from us, words seem so hollow right now. To the individuals currently fighting for their lives in a hospital and their families, we're praying for you. And I know that my wife and I got a chance to go to the hospital. I know Governor Whitmer was there and I know our president was there. And unbelievable people. There are so many good people in the world, the doctors, the nurses. Although for me, I'm also a father of two Spartans of my own. I can't begin to imagine what all of you are going through. But I do know that we, as a campus community, can offer our support both to you and to each other. Look around. Look next to you. Shake somebody's hand. Introduce yourself to someone you don't know. That's what we are. And that's what we need to be at this time. I'd like to offer a special thank you, as all have, to our first responders who seem to get paid little and asked to put their life on the line each and every day, as I've learned through my own assistant coach not that long ago. The coordinated response from law enforcement from around the state, from the FBI, the EMS to the hospitals was nothing short of remarkable. And to the students who listened to the shelter in place directive, your ability to follow protocol, even in the face of fear, was incredible. If you use that throughout your life, it will be helpful. I won't be long, but I did want to offer a few words that someone, that some of you will hopefully find helpful. Michigan State is my home. Everyone thinks I'm a youper. Yes, that's where I came from. But virtually all of my adult life, I've been a Spartan. I've seen some incredible highs. And yes, unfortunately, there have been some devastating lows. But as a Spartan, we always get through it together. We're Spartan tough, Spartan strong. If you need proof, look at us all standing here tonight. Each and every one of us, we've come for many different reasons to heal, to grieve, to honor our victims, to stand up to fear, which you're gonna to have to do a lot in your life. Whatever you're feeling, it's all valid. Emotions are different for each and every person. I cry in front of my team, I cry on national TV. Don't be afraid to show your emotions. We all process trauma in a very different way. I'm just glad we're all here together tonight. So let me close with the challenge. Let's all do a better job taking care of one another. Through no fault of our own, but COVID has led us to all feel a little more separated from one another. It drives me crazy. We need each other. 
For 40 years, I've always believed that at Michigan State, we are at our own strongest when we're together. In athletics, the best teams are always greater than the sum of their individual parts. The same is true for our community. Governor Whitmer, you should be proud that, you know, not only did our police, not only did our hospitals, just the individuals in our community all band together at this incredible university that I have given most of my life to and I have a lot more to give in the future. If any of you need help, please speak up. Be vulnerable. Don't be afraid. It's no secret that I do wear my emotions on my sleeve. So I'm not afraid. Our hearts are heavy. Our losses have been great. Our lives have been permanently changed. But with a shared commitment to help each other and a promise to remember those we have lost, we will learn to find joy once again. I think everybody spoke that something has to be done in our society. Gun violence is insane right now. We all have a platform. Some are small, some are high, but we all have a platform. And I hope each and every one of you use your platform to help others so other families don't have to go what these families are going through now. I appreciate everybody being here, and before you leave, I hope you meet the 10 people around you and become closer. The world needs it. Michigan State needs it. The grieving time needs it. I need it.